everybody. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to do a quick catalog read through with one of my oldest catalogs I actually own. So this catalog that I have today is from spring 2004. As you can see, uh, the front cover is depicting or showing off uh, Kaylee, who is the 2003 girl of the year at the time. So let's get started and open this catalog up. Alrighty, so here is the first page. As you can see, um, it has this really cool like little um, read through dialogue on the first page. So I'm gonna leave it here in case you guys wanna read this cute little motto that American Girl used to write a lot on their catalogs. Yeah, I don't believe they do this anymore, which is really interesting. Alrighty, so here is the next page for the catalog. And as you can see, it is promoting American Girl of Today items and dolls. They are just so cute. I am so glad to be able to finally own my number four. She is just so beautiful. And ever since having this catalog, I've always wanted to get this outfit particularly for her. And I also really love this number 18 here. She is so cute. My goodness. Ugh, if only I could go back in time and buy some of these dolls. Alrighty, this is the part of the catalog where girls would normally go to buy their new American Girl doll of today. Um, as you see here, um, they are advertising the Go Anywhere outfit for dolls. I remember seeing this growing up and I always loved this outfit because it, come, it came with so many pieces. It comes with like the tights, the boots, the skirt, the jacket, and also like a cute little turtleneck also. I absolutely loved it. It was something I definitely saw girls at this time taking like, what do you call it? Like first day pictures. Like this is just a really cute snazzy outfit uh, for girls to wear at that time. So I just love some of the older Pleasant Company and early Mattel, um, you know, just like you or Married Girl Today outfits. But yeah, some of the dolls I would love to get if I could purchase uh, dolls today from this catalog, which are now very much retired dolls. Um, see, so here's the cute little number four and then number 11. She's definitely a doll I have on my list. She is just so beautiful. And then there's also this number one and this number two. Oh my goodness. They're just the most beautiful dolls. And I wish I had the opportunity to purchase them at the time they are available at American Girl. Alrighty. So here is the next page of the 2004 catalog. Um, so, weirdly enough, I really don't remember this trundle bed very well. I remember more of the 2005 Murphy bed or the 2-in-1 bed. That is still a bed I would love to get for some of my uh, Just Like You and Truly Me dolls today. But this is a really cute option. I really love how it comes like it's matching little amour. It's just so cute. What's really funny about this page that I kind of laugh at is that I actually own this outfit here. So this outfit is called the Heart Print PJs and Backpack Set. Um, so what's really funny is I believe that my um, my great aunt, she was in Chicago uh, visiting her daughter, who's my second cousin, I believe. And I think that she passed by the Merrick Girl store on, ha on just accident. And she just thought it'd be really cute to buy a cute little outfit for me at the time when uh, I think I only had my Josefina doll. She was my first doll. So I think around like 2004 or so, she saw this outfit and she purchased it for me and it was just really cute. Sorry, I think my door just opened, but anywho, so what's really cool about this outfit is it actually came with a lot of really cool little details. Like it came with like these cute little shoes with a little fluff on it and it comes with like a cami and then a t-shirt and then the pants and it also came with a backpack and also it came with these little wings here. I don't know if you could see them here on this picture, but yeah, so really funny is that if you really do want this outfit, I do have to warn people because the little wings are really cute, but I don't know what it is, but ever since I purchased it, it actually kind of like the little wings fluff likes to fall out a lot. So I noticed like in my storage bin upstairs in my doll room where I kept these little wings, it just fluffed all over everything. <laughs> so I just have to warn people that even when I first purchased it, it started shedding the little fluff, but it's really cute. And I haven't put this on any of my dolls in many years, but it's a really cute outfit and it's really adorable if you do want to purchase it. But just be warned if you get the version with the wings in the backpack, um, just be warned that, that little <laughs> piece of wings, they like to fluff off. Alrighty, so here's the next page. 
It is so cute. I completely forgot about this little bowling outfit and this little rock climbing outfit and even the little equestrian outfit. Though my favorite outfit I think of the whole entire, um, at least this page, is going to be this number four's cute little warm up outfit in matte. It is just so adorable. I absolutely love it. I really think I should get this for my number four since I got her recently. So I've been looking on places like Evie and Makari to see if I could find this for a good deal. But it is just so adorable. And I love how every one of these outfits actually came with extra little accessories. So for example, it says on here that the yoga um, outfit or the warm up outfit comes with a bag and also a tip sheet that's really cute. Um, so I think that's like a warm up little, little mat and stuff like that. So it just came with a lot of little pieces and it's really, really cute. Alrighty, so this is another uh, page that kind of shows off the little activities and things you could buy for your girl today. So it's really cute to see number four posed in so many different little outfits, like this little soccer outfit, this little gymnastics outfit. She's just so cute in it. Surprisingly, an outfit I never thought I really would like is actually this cute little cheerleader outfit. I don't know what it is with this number 15. She is just so cute in this outfit. And she's actually a doll I would kind of consider to want in my collection. I wish I had the opportunity to buy her and every time I try to bid on her, someone usually outbids me for a number 15, but she is just a really beautiful doll. Um, an outfit that I always wanted was actually this beachside outfit here for dolls. It is just so cute. I absolutely love the little shoes and the little striped top that it comes with. But yeah, I didn't purchase this at the time and I do hope to get this maybe in the future. We'll see. So what I think is really interesting about this page here is I remember growing up they used to have like these little like um, celebration party type of favors and treats you could kind of buy for like um, yourself. I've never bought any of these things that I thought it was just kind of interesting. I wonder if anybody in the comments would like to say if they ever bought one of these and they thought they're really interesting because they seemed really neat, especially with like this picture showing off kind of what this little set would look like when you buy it. Um, I was just kind of curious how, how nice they were or did they kind of feel like they're a little overpriced because at the time they're around 70, yeah, they're around like $70. So that's kind of a little expensive in my opinion, especially for back in 2004. What's really cool is I really love this birthday party outfit. This is really adorable. Um, I think the little shoes just remind me of the early 2000s. That was definitely a style that uh, girls and women at the time would have worn. Those sandals would have been really comfortable. And it's really funny to see a lot of those trends come back again um, 30 years later or 20 years later, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is the page that talks about coconut and licorice and the little items that they have for these two little uh, pets that you have for your dolls. I remember at the time I wasn't too big into coconut. It's a cute little Wessie, but I really liked cats at the time because I had a cat um, growing up. So I can see why I kind of thought licorice was cute. Um, in the end, I never bought licorice. I actually bought Caroline's Ink Pot, uh, the cat, um, instead. Uh, what's really cool is that this outfit here is also really adorable. This is a coconut best friend outfit for dolls. Um, I think I saw a YouTuber actually open this and I never thought how cute this outfit was until they pulled it out or until I saw someone else open it. It is just really cute. Um, the denim jacket looks really adorable and even the shoes are really detailed and beautiful. Okie dokie, so this is the little like treat yourself right page. Um, this is where like the little spa outfits are and I really think this is cute. I kind of miss that, um, you couldn't buy like the little camis and tanks for like your dolls and yourself. I really wish they kind of had that available today because there's some dolls that I get at like thrift stores and other places and sometimes they don't come with underwear and I really wish I could just buy that separately at American Girl sometimes because they don't have that available to buy at the store today. I really don't remember this little spa chair too much um, or that little robe, but it's really cute. The little robe looks really detailed and really comfortable. Alrighty, so this page is really nostalgic for me because I remember the first catalog I ever saw was of a doll wearing this outfit particularly. So one day I like to say that I own these three outfits, but it's not really on the top of my wish list to get uh, today. 
But I really do love these little outfits. I think this is one of the first times that they kind of advertise that you can go, kind of mix and match these outfits together. But they are just so cute. I absolutely love it. And I love this little number four with these little glasses and the little uh, fluffy uh, little muff around her neck. It is so cute. I swear, this little set is so adorable. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. And I hope one day maybe I could own maybe one of the three outfits or a few. I'm not too sure. Like I said, I really love, I think my favorite one has to be this little uh, glitter jeans outfit. I think that one's my favorite. Though at the same time, I really do love the pieces um, on this cute one here that's called the jacket and skirt outfit. It is just so cute. Alrighty, so this is the where you could like dress like your doll type section in the catalog. Um, this is really cute. I think personally I would have loved to wear this top and these jeans. They're just so adorable. Um, looking at the prices though, they're kind of expensive for back when. I gotta say like spending around 40 or sorry here it is around 45 or 48 dollars that it is for that paisley dress at the time was kind of pricey um do i think it's really adorable i sure do but you know at the time i felt like i think the reason why again i didn't purchase it personally buy any outfits to dress like my dolls because i felt like they were a little pricey even back when I think it's really cool is that American Girl used to do like all these really cool gadgets and things like that. So that was like really neat. So like here's like this little thing here. It's like a headset. I think it's more of a karaoke headset, but it's really kind of cute. Alrighty, so this is the page that is discussing cute little Kaylee Hopkins. She is Girl of the Year 2003 and she's absolutely adorable. I know everyone kind of has their different opinions about this cute Girl of the Year doll. But I personally remember her in the catalogs, and I remember when I was in fourth or fifth grade, I had internet pictures I think I printed from my printer, and I remember putting pictures of her all over some of my uh, notebooks and my backpack when I was younger, and I remember thinking about asking my parents to get her for Christmas in 2004, and I remember them saying that they just couldn't do that that year, and I completely understood, but at the same time, I felt bad for missing out on her. Um, one of the little things I absolutely love is going to be Sandy the dog. I think she's just so cute. Um, personally, I had a dog named Sandy while growing up, so this is really nostalgic for me, so I wanted to get Sandy the dog, so I hope maybe one day I can get these two items in the future. Okay, okay, so these are items for Kaylee. Um, she didn't have too many items. She has this little wetsuit and bikini set, which I think is really cute. Um, and then she has a boogie board set, and then she also has a snorkel set. What's really cool is I really like the idea that you could have gotten not only her little bikini for yourself, but you could have also gotten her little beach bag and towel set, which I think is really cute. I kind of wish I bought that in the past, but it's okay. I know that this little uh, bag, this little bag here, actually um, comes with your doll. Like she has a doll size of that version when you purchase her. So her doll actually comes with a lot of different accessories. So that's really, really neat. I think it's really cool to see this little price here. So it's 145 and it's supposed to be for her entire world. So I wish I could just purchase that today because I know if I went to look for a brand new Kaylee doll on eBay or Macari or other secondary markets, I know that she's worth way more than that, especially if she's new. So yeah, she is a cute little doll, I have to say. Okie dokie, so this page here is always like the extras page and I, it was always one of my favorite pages to look through when going through my catalogs because I always loved that American Girl would sell like extra little shoes here, little socks, the little, uh, what do you call it, uh, glasses and the hangers. I just thought it was so cute that you could buy these little extras for your doll and you wouldn't have to, you know, break the bank for them either. What's really cool is I absolutely love this little set, this little backpack, and also um, the little, what do you call it? It is a suitcase for your doll. So what's really cool is that actually this little backpack here, I actually own this guy. And it's really surprising to see a lot of other American Girl fans and collectors that they actually have wanted to buy this backpack. And I think it's really cool. 
I also wonder who actually kind of bought like this um, suitcase and backpack. I would have loved to buy that, but at the time, um, it was just kind of expensive. Like looking at the prices today for this suitcase and backpack, it's $92. So again, I have to say when you look at inflation rates, $92 was kind of like, I'd say like around almost, I'm not too sure, like $150 to $200 today. So it's kind of a pricey item. Um, so I can see why, again, my parents only got me the backpack only. And what's really cool is, again, I do own this and I do have this <laughs> in my uh, room upstairs. So that's really interesting. And I've kept it nice and neat ever since. So yeah. Alrighty, so this is my favorite section of within this catalog because when I was younger, I started off collecting American Girl by collecting historical dolls. My first doll ever was Josefina, and I got her in 2003 for my for Christmas, I believe. <laughs> but yeah, she is still my favorite doll in my collection. Um, I just have a lot of good memories with her and things like that. And I really wish that I could have gotten a lot of the items that are available in this catalog in the past because they are very hard to find today. Okie dokie, so this page here is showing off Kaya, and she is absolutely beautiful in this picture. Um, I gotta admit that I got my Kaya doll around 2013 before the Be Forever change and I really, really do love her. She is one of my also favorite dolls. Um, let's see, so she comes in this beautiful outfit with her beautiful accessories and I am working really hard to try to get most of her books here, so yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I have to say that these outfits here are my dream outfits to get for Kaya. So one of the outfits is this fancy shawl outfit of today. I absolutely love it. I've seen it once in person when I went to the American Girl doll uh, store in Chicago in 2006. And I remember seeing it and I remember wanting to purchase it, but I did not walk away with uh, this beautiful outfit because I didn't own Kaya at the time. Um, weirdly enough, I went home with a Just Like You doll and I kind of regret that. I love my Just Like You doll and I wouldn't trade her for the world, but some part of me kind of wishes I got a Kaya doll and so I could have gotten this beautiful outfit and maybe this cute little jingle dress of today outfit here too. But yeah, these two outfits are just so beautiful. They are also very hard to find. Um, I've seen them new and used for over $100 each, but they are beautiful. And I really do also love this little deerskin dress too. It is so cute. And her little hat. I've seen this little set with her hat um, here. I've seen this go for over $150 before new in box. But yeah, these are really beautiful items. And I love the authenticity of these items uh, toward her Nez Pierce culture. It's just really beautiful. Alrighty then. So this is showing off Kaya's cute little teepee. Um, what's really cool is that you could buy her teepee and then you could also um, buy her bedroll and her little shield on the side. So I unfortunately don't have this version of her teepee. I have her newer version of it, which is really cool also, but some part of me kind of wishes I could have gotten this older teepee. Um, I would just love to kind of compare the quality of both uh, of these items. What's really neat too is that I actually own both um, steps high and sparks flying so i own both of these horses i don't know what it was but kaya things i kind of buy um kind of fast or i've bought i've worked really hard to buy them um throughout my years of collecting and i'm really glad about that because i never thought some of these items would go retire that would retire very fast but they did so yeah some of these items are not available one of the things i would love to get is this cute little doll and cradle board I do not own that and I wish I did. Um, I've seen it go for over $100 also. So I've been thinking about, again, uh, which things I kind of want for my Kaya collection. Um, I just gotta say that um, I, don't, I don't feel like I have too much to get from her collection because I do own a good portion of her things, but there's just some things I would love to get in the future. Alrighty, so here's Kit. I gotta say this picture of Kit is just absolutely wonderful. I am so glad I have her in this outfit compared to her Be Forever outfit. This outfit is just so adorable. It is historically accurate and it's just really adorable and cute and it looks like something she would actually wear in the 1930s. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this page because it shows off all of Kit's little birthday collection. 
Grace, her dog is so cute and I absolutely love her dress. And I also love her cute little school outfit and her little school desk. It is just so adorable. One thing I gotta say is that in 2014, or not long after 2014, when the Be Forever collection was introduced, I did not have the opportunity to get any other kit items other than her accessories and the doll. And I really regret that because I really would love to get this cute little birthday outfit and the school outfit and other things that she used to have in her older collection. I gotta say, I think one of the things I would love to get or if I had all the money in the world and also the biggest doll room in the world, I would love to get her birthday collection, but I technically have told myself not to get it, but maybe in the future, you never know, right? But it's just really adorable. I absolutely love it. Another thing on this page too, it has to be this limited edition tr uh, treehouse outfit that Kit had. Um, I've seen this before on secondary markets and I have to say that it is very expensive. Um, I wish I was smart enough to get these limited edition outfits in the past because they are worth a lot of money. But, you know, I feel like if I had this outfit, I'd keep it and put it on her all the time anyway. It's so funny because my parents know that my doll collection, you know, can make a decent amount of money. And they always wonder, Lori, would you sell any of your things? And I never can. I never had the heart to sell any of the things that I worked really hard to purchase myself. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love Kit's uh, bedtime set. It is so adorable. I love this version of her bed. I've also told myself maybe in the future I'd like to get that cute little bed, but I'm not too sure. I do love that it folds out so two, two dolls can sleep on it, so that's really neat. And this little chest is also very beautiful. And I really do love her little accessories there too on her nightstand. They're just so cute. You know, I really do love this little nighttime set or pajamas. They're just so adorable. I gotta say, I think it's one of those little things I would totally want to get in the future for my own kit doll. Another cute thing they have here is gonna be the little overalls outfit for Kit Saves a Day. It is just so adorable. And I gotta say, I think this is a hard to find outfit nowadays on secondary markets like eBay and Macari. But yeah, these outfits are just so adorable. And again, I wish I was able to purchase these in the past when they were available at American Girl. Alrighty, so this page is for Samantha. Samantha is a doll I really miss seeing in the American Girl catalogs today. I absolutely love her. Everyone's different about their love for Samantha or their like for Samantha, but I love her. She is just really nostalgic for me. Um, she was a doll that me and my grandmother absolutely loved. And I don't know what it is, but I guess because I have dark brown hair and brown eyes, I think my grandmother always saw Samantha and saw me in her. So that's probably why she absolutely loved her. And she helped me purchase her when she retired in 2008. Alrighty, so this is showing off her cute little birthday set here. I absolutely adore this. And I gotta say, it was one of those things I wanted to purchase not long after Samantha retired. And for years, I worked really hard to be able to say that I have her lemonade set, her party treats, and this whole entire collection. I also have her dress. And weirdly enough, I do not own her little shoes, but it's something I do plan to get in the future. But yeah, it is one of my favorite historical collections. Um, absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I do have uh, my Samantha list. Or my Samantha wish list, it just keeps growing all the time because I want to get more things for her, even though I know I probably should <laughs> should kind of calm down on it. But she's just such a beautiful doll, and I love her collection and her stories. I've also read all of her books also. So what's really interesting is that this little school desk I do own. I was really fortunate to buy that, I think around 2016, someone was selling it new in box for around $50 and I thought it was a really good deal at the time because the desk itself was, yeah, as you can see, it was around $68 back then. So I got a really great deal on it. Um, I don't see deals like that anymore. Um, I don't see uh, American Girl stuff for cheap unless it's like very used or I don't know, maybe every once in a while there's a person that doesn't know the worth of American Girl products. But I gotta say, I think a lot of people know that American Girl stuff is coveted and that doll collectors really love to have these precious items. So what's really funny is that I own the desk, 
her school accessories and her little bunch pail and it's so cute i absolutely adore it but what's weird is that i don't own this little buster school dress i don't know why i just never been able to find it for the price i think that it's worth um i see people selling it for really expensive or i see it sold used and i really just like to buy stuff that looks really like worn or faded or has stains on it so that's just the only reason why i haven't personally purchased this cute little school outfit but i do have it on the list to get and hopefully i'll get it soon but if not it's okay i feel like i'll always have a chance to get some retired um samantha items what's really cute is this cute little talent show dress I gotta say, I remember seeing it in person, but the dress I would love to get for Samantha would actually be her lawn party outfit. Like that outfit is just so adorable. Um, but yeah, this is also a really cute outfit. Maybe in the future I might get it, but I, this is also another very rare limited edition item. And I feel like I've seen this go for really expensive. For If it's new in box, I've seen it for maybe 150 to 200. And used I see it still for around a hundred bucks so I have to say this is a very limited edition item but it's a really beautiful item also oh my goodness I gotta say Samantha's nighttime collection is just one of my also favorite collections I have to say so for the longest time I told myself I didn't need anything in this collection but recently or maybe a few months ago I actually bought Samantha's bed and I have to say it completely changed my mind and now I want the entire thing so one day i hope to get her little commode and her nighttime necessities and maybe get her trunk but her trunk to me seems really really hard to find i've seen people sell this trunk incredibly used for over 300 dollars, and i just personally think that's just a lot of money to pay for a used american girl item but it is just so adorable and maybe one day i'll, I'll get this item but if not it's okay um, I do see myself getting more of that little commode and her nighttime necessities um, and maybe this little kimono and her pajamas. They are just so adorable. So one of the items I absolutely loved from Samantha has to be her summer little midi outfit. This outfit just brings back so many nostalgia things because I believe the first book I've ever read from American Girl was actually Samantha Saves the Day. I remember that I looked into my, was it my elementary library and I didn't realize that these books had to go in order and I remember the first book I pulled out and it was this uh, book here where Samantha saves a day. So this outfit just meant a lot for me and it's one of the items I do own for my Samantha doll. In the future, I do hope one day to get this cute little winter story outfit, which is her plaid cape and gaiters and her little elegant hat and muff. So I hope one day I can get it because it is so adorable. Alrighty, so here's beautiful Molly. She is just so cute. My goodness, she is a doll that actually one of my other grandparents absolutely love. Um, so my grandmother who loves Samantha was actually my father's mother. So that's my paternal grandmother and my maternal grandmother who is my mother's mother. She absolutely loved Molly. Um, she loved her because she thought that she looked like my mother when growing up because she also had glasses very similar to these. But she just thinks she's a really cute doll. So I remember also picking her up in 2013 when she retired. Oh my goodness, Molly's Sweet Dreams collection is one of my favorites. It is so adorable. I absolutely love her red bed and my favorite is definitely her beautiful trunk. It has beautiful red stars all over it it's just so cute i hope maybe one day i might get that but in the end it is not something i have on the top of my wish list it's something that you know if i had the room um i definitely would grab it but i do have other things that are more prominent in my wish list but it's okay i do love a lot of molly's um collection Another really cool thing is her summer outfit. It is available again at American Girl and I have yet to purchase it for my Molly doll, but I think I will in the future or pretty soon. I really think this cute little yellow slicker and rain hat is so adorable. It's really adorable. I wish they had this longer at American Girl. So Another outfit that I think is going to be very hard for me and other collectors to get is definitely this Route 66 outfit. I'm pretty sure this outfit is also a very limited edition outfit and I believe I've seen it go for over $200 used. 
Again, I'm not too sure. I haven't seen this in a while. I haven't avidly looked for it in a while, but it is definitely a cute outfit. Um, I don't have plans to get that outfit in the future, but it is incredibly adorable and cute. Alrighty, this is the last page that shows off the other historical dolls that are available at the time in 2004. One is my favorite, Josefina. Um, at the time in 2004, I only had my first doll, Josefina, with me. It'd be until 2006 until I got my own Just Like You doll. And then a year after that, I believe I got Kirsten, so that's really neat. I have this doll here. She's also a very beautiful doll. And I had a really good experience getting her in 2007, I believe, at the American Girl store place in Los Angeles. And then Addie, I believe I didn't get her until 2014. Alrighty, so before there was Welly Wishers, there was this little hopshot, Hopscotch Hill School dolls. And you know, to tell you the truth, I don't think I've ever met anyone that actually owns one of these dolls. But I remember thinking they were kind of, kind of cute at the time, but I never had the intention to actually buy one. Um, they're definitely for a younger crowd. I'm guessing this is from the ages between maybe three to seven. I'm not too sure. I could be wrong on that. But yeah, they definitely had these dolls available in the early 2000s. Alrighty, so see, these are just a few dolls that they had from the Hot Shots Kip Hill collection. Again, this is not a, a doll collection I'm very, very familiar with from American Girl. But I don't really remember how long they lasted, but I don't think they lasted too long. I always thought that this doll here, the Skylar doll, was kind of cute. Um, I just liked her hair, I feel. <laughs> um, and her outfit's kind of cute also. Definitely something that was chic and cool, this cute little outfit in the early 2000s. Um, and then they have this Logan doll. She definitely reminds me a little bit of like a number three or like a Kirsten doll. And then they have this doll here. So I think she was supposed to be like the main attraction doll. Um, I forgot what her name is from the top of my head. But yeah, I mean, they had a lot of interesting little things. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not a big Welly Wisher person. Um, and I definitely wasn't into these either at the time. I didn't mind them. But again, I never bought anything from this collection or... Um, you know, dolls that American Girl produced at that time. <laughs> this is really cute, actually, the little idea that they can like dress up. That's kind of cute. I think American Girl eventually kind of gave cute little dress up items for the historicals. Like I think of uh, Rebecca's like little dress up um, collection uh, in 2009 or 2010 when that came out. It's kind of similar a little, not really, but this is cute. It's a cute idea. I really like this idea of like the Reese's playset. This is really adorable actually. Alrighty, so we are at the Bitty Baby section. I also never owned a Bitty Baby doll. I remember when I was little, I, I liked baby dolls, um, but I wasn't enthusiastic about them. So obviously um, the day that I found out about American Girl, that was the day that I was like, those are the dolls I want to collect because I definitely had a mixture of baby dolls in my house, Barbie dolls, and I also liked porcelain when I was growing up too, but I remember being disappointed that I couldn't really play with them, that they were just meant to be pretty and looked at. So I felt like finding American Girl dolls or like the anti itch American Girl dolls at the time, I felt like that was the perfect type of doll I was looking for while I was growing up. But yeah, um, the Bitty Babies are cute. Um, I think they have a lot of really cool accessories, I have to say. Oh, this is really cute. I actually like this little Bitty Bear Tea Party set. You know what's funny is that I've heard some individuals actually collect Bitty Bear stuff. Um, I didn't really know too much about it. It's kind of like, I think it's like the coconut version for like American Girl dolls or the 18 inch American Girl dolls. Um, like Bitty Bear seems to have like a lot of like things in her collection, um, little knickknacks and things like that. Wow, like they have a little like dress up set. That's really funny. <laughs> I think the little Bitty Bear has a house too. That's kind of cool. But this little outfit is really adorable. I gotta say. 
And I like how Biddy Bear has little friends too. That's really adorable. Wow, there's definitely a lot of cute little outfits. This little outfit, I think it's a little bloom, beautiful bloom set. It's actually really cute. Really, really cute. I kind of wish they came out with like an American Girl 18 inch version for um, Just Like You or American Girl Today dolls. I mean, really cute. This also, this rosy red set is really awesome too. Okie dokie, so this is like the big items or big ticket items for Biddy Baby. So it's like a stroller, um, what is this, a cradle, crib, a high chair, wow. And then there's also this changing table. That's adorable, I have to say. I think one of my favorite things Biddy Baby collection had was probably that washer and dryer set. I'm not sure if they have that anymore, but I remember seeing that. I think in like 2010, 2009. I'm not too sure when that was, but I remember looking at that going, that's really neat. I kind of want one. <laughs> but again, I don't collect Bitty Baby. I do think it's really cute and nifty because they are really well-made pieces of furniture and accessories. Alrighty guys, we're pretty close to the end. So they're during this page, they're advertising the Bitty Baby twins, if I'm correct, or the Bitty twins, that's correct. I remember those. I gotta say, I hope they're kind of cute and I remember them retiring maybe it was a few years ago I don't I'm not too sure when they retired but I remember thinking about getting them but at the same time I kind of felt like you had to get the boy and the girl set um I know that you could have like mixed and match you could have gotten two girls or two boys but you know I, I gotta say like I just thought it was kind of interesting um I'm surprised they lasted as long as they did to tell you the truth only because I felt like once the Willy Wishers were a sure hit for American Girl, I felt like these guys were kind of getting forgotten <laughs> in the doll line at, you know, the stores and things like that. But that's just me. Um, do I think they had their place in American Girl? I definitely do. I know I've heard of a lot of collectors who absolutely love these Biddy Twins. It always surprises me to see how many things the Biddy Twins had at that time. So yeah, I don't even remember this little sleigh set. I don't remember this teeter-totter, but I gotta say, this is really cool. If I saw this in uh, the American Girl store, I definitely would have thought about buying this because that is kind of cool. And it's only like $28, it's not too bad. I don't know what I would have done with it, but that's just really cute, <laughs> I have to say. So these are just great little pictures of uh, the Biddy Twins. And you know, I gotta say, again, they had their place at American Girl for a short period of time. Or actually, no, they were available for a good amount of time. But yeah, this is really, really cute. Alrighty, everybody. So this is the last page of the American Girl catalog that I own from spring 2004. So I think this little picture is just so adorable, especially with this cute little number four in this adorable warm-up outfit. I hope one day I'm able to get this, but yeah. So... Anywho, I'm gonna switch over to the front of the magazine really fast. So, alrighty, here it is. So I have to say that I'm really glad I was able to go through this catalog with everybody because it just brings back so many memories of when I first started collecting American Girl. I have to say though that this is the oldest catalog I do own in my personal uh, American Girl catalogs kind of collection. Um, kind of what happened was when I was younger in 2003 I got my first catalog and since then I lost a lot of them. I have to say um, I didn't take the greatest care of them. Um, they weren't that bad but the whole thing was my parents kind of thought that they were just like you know, my parents are minimalist, and so they thought that these catalogs were kind of a nuisance around the house, so they threw them all away. So I technically have only this one, and then I have the rest of my catalogs are from 2007 onwards. I feel really bad because there's some catalogs I wish I still own today, um, but, you know, they're kind of hard to buy. Um, they are actually kind of worthwhile. They are even collector's items, I would say. And maybe in the future, I probably would like to buy some Pleasant Company catalogs because I've never seen them. I've only seen like scans of them online and things like that. But yeah, so this is the oldest catalog I have. And I have to say that there is a reason why I got this particular catalog for a particular purchase that I made. So hopefully I will be able to show um, very soon on my channel which doll I actually got this catalog with. But anyway, thank you so much again for tuning into my channel. I'll see you guys very soon.